so uh, the other day I showed you how to uh, load pictures uh, based upon pictures that were in a bundle. Well today uh, let's look at how you would uh, have uh, import a picture so like basically I've added a button so your user could select a picture that's on their system and then we'll display it. It's not much different than what we did before. Uh, what we're doing different here is we're going to introduce the NS Open Panel. Um, I just laid out some things on screen here, a simple button and an image well. And I've set up some basic um, sizes here. Let me just uh, get it so that the window when it launches will be centered and will have a minimum size. Otherwise we can just get rid of this and this and then we can open up our assistant here and uh, set up some outlets for our image well. I'm going to call it IV main and then basically we just need an action here for our import button and I will call that button import make sure that's an action and then we're ready to go and we can pretty much get rid of this now and just look in here and I'm going to definitely make sure I got enough uh, space under here. Uh, one of my other videos I noticed when I went back and looked at it uh, was kind of cropping off at the bottom of the screen. So, Okay, so what we need to do is uh, use an open panel. So let's create a constant for that. And I'm going to call it RP File Picker. And that would be... an NS open panel and as you can see it started auto typing and what we want that is to equal an NS open panel and we just need to use these little braces now there's a number of um, objects that uh, an open panel or a panel object um, properties that it has so once I start typing out this you can see as uh, the different things that this can do and I'm just gonna kinda go through this there's quite a few but there's um, some things I don't want it to do so allows multiple selections um, I often use this but for uh, importing a single file uh, this is unnecessary so we'll just make sure that it is false And we also want to make sure we're getting some kind of, okay. I was noticing the error thing was still there. Um, we're not going to be choosing um, can choose files. We want to make sure that is true. We also want to make sure that the can choose directories on this particular one is oops false and that's pretty much all we're gonna need so we're basically saying we just want the user to be able to choose files no multiple selections uh, and no choosing directories so then we can uh, basically say we can call our uh, RP file picker and there's two ways you could do this. You could um, have it so that it sheets off the window, or you can have it so that the picker just runs uh, modal. And let's just run modal for now. It's less options. And so what happens when the uh, NS open panel, uh, basically, if a user selects something, uh, it returns a URL. If the user selects nothing, it returns nothing. So we can basically create a variable, and I'll call it choosing file equals, and then we just call our constant again, RP file picker, and we're looking for URL. And all we have to do then is say if chosen file.
equals nil. And then we need a uh, low curly, oops, the curly braces is uh, shift up. Um, so if anything is picked within this if statement, uh, then we can run our action. So we'll just put there, there is a file. And then we can do what we need to do. So basically, we just want to display an image. So let me create a variable. I'm going to call it picked import. And that's going to equal uh, NS image. And we're looking for what's called contents. I think it's called, I think it's, whoops. Should be, oh, I see what I had. I had cap locks on. It should be called contents of URL. Doesn't want to come up. Try this again. Usually it like wants to auto, it auto completes. I can't remember exactly what it's called. That's the, that's the thing. Let me try this. Uh, NS image. Here's the thing it's doing. It's making this a small. There we go. That's why I was having problems. And there we go. Contents of URL. So as I was typing, it was making it not an NS image by making a non cap. So this is actually what I want right here. I couldn't remember exactly how it was spelled out, so that's why I was looking for it. So all we have to do now is pass in the URL from chosen file. So I'm going to grab it right here. I'm just going to copy this and paste it in there. And I believe we have to put an exclamation mark at the end of this, and we do. And so now the contents of what's returned is going to be uh, in this variable and now we just have to display it on screen and I believe we call that IV main so IV main dot image or equal this pick import and there you go this should right here uh, be everything we need so let's uh, run this and see what happens Okay, so here we're on screen. Let's go into my pictures folder. Let's grab this picture right here. And there you see, right on screen, we do have a picture that's displayed. Pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back through what we did. Uh, we basically added one outlet for the NS image view. Uh, and then we created one action. And here's our action. Uh, Here's where we declared um, RP file picker for an NS open panel. We selected, or we didn't select, we added basically some properties here, uh, some Boolean values, uh, false for multiple selections, uh, can choose files, true, can choose directories, false. And uh, some of these, what they mean is uh, multiple selections mean a user can select multiple files. So if you want to do that, you would put that true. Um, Files mean uh, picking files, but you can also have them pick uh, directories instead. Um, you can do run modal is how you uh, basically present it, but you can also present it as a sheet. And uh, when you go in there and you start typing your thing and you put a little dot, you can see that there's a number of different things. Well, there is one for doing sheets and all that. Uh, here you go. Begin sheet, sheet as window, begin sheet, modal for window. These right here would do what you need to do for that. There's a little bit more you have to add into that, like uh, what window you're going to sheet from and whatnot. But beyond that, not much else is different. Um, we did set a variable, chosen file, to equal the returned URL of the file picked. 
and right here this if statement uh, basically ran because there was a chosen file if there wasn't nothing would have happened so that's basically it that's how you would use a uh, open panel and you can use an open panel not just for images but for text music pretty much anything okay well thanks for joining me and uh, I'll see you next time bye bye